my name is H.A. Pruitt and I'm the author of Anathalene and the second book in the Anathalene series, Earthquaking. And in this video, I'm going to do a book review of a short fantasy book. Um, and before I do the review, I want to say that reviews are so important. Please review a book if you read the book. Reviews help authors learn about what readers want, what readers like and dislike, and it just encourages them to keep writing. Knowing people are reading our books, knowing people are liking our books, or at least care enough to say something about them, encourages us so very much. So please, if you read any book, review the book. So the book I'm going to review today is The Ones with Gilded Bones by Nathaniel Luscombe. I hope I'm saying your name right. Nathaniel Luscombe. The ones with gilded bones. So um, to tell you about it, I'm going to read the book, the back first. Two girls, one fate. Oh man, I forgot the names were this hard. Okay, two girls, one fate. Alajar has spent her life by the sea. She knows its secrets, or so she thinks. When she gets caught in a storm, she finds herself face to face with the impossible. Now she has to figure out what her island has been hiding from her. Jin has spent her life catching jellyfish. She doesn't know how to save the world, especially when it needs to be saved from the people she trusts most. A man's dying words are going to send her on a journey to discover who she really is. When they come together, the island may crack beneath the weight of its past. So I'm not going to say anything more about the plot because it, it is a short book and so I don't want to give away anything. So that's all I'm going to say about the plot, but I w I'm going to tell you, um, I read it in one day. It's a very short read. It's an epic fantasy. It takes place in a whole other world. Um, I'll say a little bit more about that. I would think it's young adult or older reading, just the characters, their ages. Um, and I want to say my one negative about the book first. So I just, I just wanted more. It's a short book and it's the author and the author note says that it's intentionally meant to be a short book not longer, but I still, I wanted more. I wanted more character development, more details, more description, um, more getting to know the characters, more getting to know this world, more after the climax. I wanted more story. So I just wanted more of pretty much everything. Um, and sometimes I read, I would have to reread paragraphs because everything just happened so quickly that you kind of had to really pay close attention because everything was going so fast and um, I just wanted more detail to go a little bit slower and enjoy it um, and get not enjoy it more but to get to spend time in this world a little more because I did enjoy it I have a lot more positives than I have of one negative um, I wanted more because the world that Nathaniel Luscombe created was just so immense like it's it's kind of incredible how he did it in such a short amount of time. The world feels vast and immense and there's all kinds of creatures and magic and rituals and history and systems and people groups. I mean, there's just so much in this small short story. Um, he just created so much and made you feel like there was so much going on and so much more. And there's just tons of, like I said, all those different things. There's just tons of world, world building. It's really rich. Um, the short story is really rich and vast. It doesn't feel like a short story. Um, it does the the whole world. It just pulls you in and gets you really interested and invested in what is going on very quickly. Um, the story itself was just really unique and interesting. And like I said, I won't say any more about the plot. You'll need to read it yourself to find out more about why it was unique and interesting. Also, I appreciated how the author gave hints at what was coming but never gave it away. I really like when I don't know what's coming in a book. I just like being surprised and being like, oh, okay, I get it now. Suddenly when it appears and you're like, oh, suddenly I get it when I'm supposed to get it and not before because all the clues are too obvious. I don't like things being too obvious. And it wasn't like that at all. It was great. I didn't know it was coming until it was coming. Then I was like, how did I not see that coming? It was very subtle hints at what was coming. So I liked that a lot. Also, the characters felt realistic and believable. I like when characters are like that. And the mood of the story was, um, I forgot to say with my different little things, the mood of the story was, it was dark, but it was kind of in a stormy, 
night kind of dark and not a gory kind of dark. And so it's like mysterious and you're not sure what's gonna happen and it feels ominous. So it's its mood was like that, very stormy. It kind of takes place near the sea on the shore. Not really on the shore, but near the sea to do with water a lot. So it feels really stormy, water, just that kind of dark vibe like that. Um, and the author did really well creating that stormy mood full of anticipation and more that was coming. Um, and the mood just really, from the very first page, it just really helps draw you in because you feel the anticipation, you feel the tension, and you just, you know something's coming, but you don't know what. It's like a storm. Um, how you can like feel the electricity and the thunder in the air and you can smell it before you really see what's coming. And I really liked that mood he set up. Um, yeah, so overall it was a quick read, it was a fun read, it was unique, and it was imaginative. This was a good book that, like I said, only took me one day to read, and so, um, but it just feels really vast and immense and good. So I would recommend it to anyone who likes to read, um, The Ones with Gilded Bones by Nathaniel S. Cohn. Hold on there, child. So, um, Nathaniel S. Cohn is on Instagram as Hectic Reading Life. That's all one word, at Hectic Reading Life. And you can also find more about him on his website. Again, Hectic Reading Life, all one word, dot webnode dot page. Um, I'll put it up beside me so you can see it. And he is a Canadian author. And he, um, I don't know if he has any other books published on his website. He had his anthologies or just some of them. I know he's in a bunch of anthologies, just tons of anthologies. I have... Um, Another book review I did already, The Heights Will Fly To, he's in there. Um, I think he's in The Depths. I think he did, yeah, he did the covers for The Depths Will Go To and The Heights Will Fly To. So he can do covers too. Um, he can do covers. He's a short story person. He's in tons of anthologies with his short stories. Um, and like Nathaniel Luscombe, if you're watching, just tell us in the comments everything you do because it seems like you do a lot. On Instagram, he reviews other people's books and his um, reels and pictures are always really pretty and supportive of others. And I just I think he's a really cool guy to follow and I like his posts and reading what he has to say about other books. So follow him, read his book, um, look up what else he's done. And thank you for watching. Comment. Um, have you read any of his stuff and anything that has been published with him? Have you seen his covers? Um, please like this video, please share this video, please subscribe. Um, and I think that's all I have for today and all Eldon will allow me to have for today. So bye for now. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com. Regardless of if you spit or throw up, we're going to do this. Look at the camera. Look at it. Don't spit up. Okay.